Good morning, friends. This morning, we are working for that military family that we did an estimate for um, on a, a few videos ago, a few vlogs ago. Uh, so we are heading to Home Depot to get some, uh, to get some uh, materials for the day. Uh, basically, the mission for the day is to install a new ceiling fan where a light fixture currently exists, um, but they do want a dimmer switch installed. Um, so we're going to have to run some 14-3 uh, some wire uh, through the wall so they can have a dimmer for the you know a fan switch and a dimmer for the light um, she doesn't like the remote uh, the fan actually has a remote but um, she does not like the the way that the remote works um, she doesn't like that you have to like hold it down to dim it and then you never know exactly when you're all the way at the bottom she would rather just have a have a handheld or a, a dimmer in the wall which totally makes sense so uh, that's our mission for the day and then we're also installing another ceiling fan at this house so uh, we're gonna be uh, crawling up in the attic, so uh, let's get to it. I got a question for y'all. What would you guys like to see in this vlog more? Would you guys like to see like me, like more talking, more maybe less talking, um, you know, more you know work videos, more like me explaining exactly what I'm doing, um, or like more things of like what I do when I'm not doing handyman jobs? I would, I don't know. I would love to hear it. What would you guys like to see? All right, at Home Depot. So I got this. This is the. Um, this is the fan support uh, box that I get, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Weston House also makes one of these. Um, but it's basically a remodel style where the ones kind of just... I showed you how this works on a few on a few videos ago anyways. But um, I also got a ceiling fan rated pancake box. Um, because I'm not, sure, I'm not sure what the light is currently mounted to. Um, if it's mounted to a joist, then this will work perfectly because it's the same distance or same thickness as the drywall. Um, but if it is not hooked to a joist, that's when I will need this guy, because I will need to replace the box, most likely, because it's just a ceiling, I mean, it's just a light fixture installed up there. I highly doubt it is a ceiling fan rated box, although it might be. If it is, then we'll leave it. And then I also got, this is kind of the dimmer that I was talking about. This is the dimmer that she wanted, one where you can control the fan and the light separately without the remote. So I got that, some wire, and uh, some old construction boxes. So. Um, yeah, let's get to work. back to the hardware store I uh, got that uh, that switch box opened up and realized and then turned off the breaker and all that and realized it is a 20 amp circuit so I'm gonna need to go back to the store and grab some 12-3 uh, um, I only grabbed some 14-3 this morning I thought it was a 15 amp circuit so I am running back to the store because I didn't have I don't have any 12-3 uh, with me so I'm gonna have to run back and grab that but uh, then we'll get back to the house and finish that up uh, the box that held that light is definitely not a fan rated box so I'm gonna have to go up in the attic and replace that I'm gonna use that uh, commercial electric um, uh, old uh, old work box uh, for that ceiling fan and then uh, run my run my new 12-3 down the wall and hook up my new dimmer so um, we're gonna get to it but we're gonna go to Lowe's right now because it's closest to us and then we're gonna be coming back Man, 12.3 is expensive, man. Crazy, crazy. I bought a uh, I bought a 25 foot roll and also a 50 foot roll just because I think the 25 foot will be long enough. But if it's just barely not long enough, then I don't want to have to come back to the store. Um, but I'll probably end up returning the 50 foot roll. But man, that 50 foot roll was like 60 bucks. Uh, I guess a lot of copper. You know, copper is pretty expensive. But uh, but yeah, hey, hey, I got a uh, I got a good con. I checked my comment uh, real quick when I was in Lowe's there. And I got a comment from a guy on a video that I made uh, earlier this year, um, a pretty cool video called The Scariest Thing I Ever Did. Um, and I'm gonna link it up here. And the, the video is basically about uh, when I started my handyman business and kind of the fear that I went through when I first started up and kind of what I had to overcome. So um, I think, I don't know, he said that that video was very helpful and I've had a lot of other people say that that was exactly what they wanted to, or exactly what they needed to hear at that time when they watched it. So just check that video out if you haven't. Uh, it's a great video. But anyways, let's get back and uh, let's install this ceiling fan.
removed, so now we need to go up in the attic and uh, run some new wire. Okay, I always like sticking something up in the attic so I can find it when I'm up there, because sometimes it's hard to like, kind of locate stuff. So I just stuck a piece of wire up there, an old piece of wire that I had uh, in the hole, so I'll be able to see it through the insulation. So let's go in the attic. They just had this attic re-insulated. Did a pretty good job at it. I need to go all the way over on the other side of that AC unit. Duct work. Oh, it's slow going. <laughs> it's like walking through snow, but I want to make sure, you know, what's under me is solid footing. So trying to find the trying to find the joists as I go. Okay, my plan didn't quite work. I stuck that uh, that old wire up in this area right here. I know that because there's the gable vent, and here's this vent. So we're about somewhere in that area. But uh, so I'm just gonna have to kind of search in that area. This stuff is really thick. It's like probably a foot, foot and a half thick or so. So we're gonna see if we could find our wire to locate our box. Actually, there's our yellow wire right there, so that worked perfectly. Gonna pull that up, locate our box, clean out around it. Sorry, this light is kind of messing with this video, but here's our old mount. There's the hole going into the middle of the ceiling. So we're gonna remove that mount, put in our own mount, and then this is the wire that used to go to the light. So we're gonna trace that back to find our hole going down through the top plate, shove our new wire down it. Okay, I traced our wire down to that hole. Now we're gonna shove our, our new 12-3 uh, down that hole, and hopefully we get it down in our sud cavity. All right, I got quite a bit run down in that hole. So hopefully that's enough to reach our uh, junction box. And then I got the rest of it over there uh, near our hole in the ceiling. So uh, we're going to get back down there, pull some wire through, and then uh, come back up here, staple everything up, and then put in our ceiling fan junction box. All right. We uh, fed enough wire through. So we got our wire here, and then we put our wire right there. So 25 feet was more than enough. So that was great. So let's pull that wire through, cut it to the right size, put in our box here, the ceiling fan support box, and then we'll get everything wired up. We'll get a new box put in over there, and uh, we'll get going. and that we were able to, to uh, squeeze in this job and move around some other jobs to get this done. Uh, like I said before, this, this job here is for a military family and uh, we are working to surprise a, uh, a husband uh, when he comes back uh, from overseas. He, he's supposed to be coming back at the end of this month. And uh, yeah, he's actually, I, get, I heard that he actually watches this channel. So that's pretty exciting. Um, so this will probably ruin the surprise, but I think it'll be kind of cool if you could put this together. So, uh, anyways, Mark, if you're watching this, uh, I appreciate uh, your service to our country, and I thank you and all of your friends that are over there that are fighting for our freedom here in America. So thank you so much for all you do, and we can't wait for you to get back. Hi, puppy. Hi. Hey, you want help?
got the power back on. I'm gonna need to fix this. Let's see what happens. The light works. All right, the fan works too. Pretty sweet. This switch doesn't do anything. I guess it used to run to that outlet down there, but they just want it there because um, this is the cover that they have. And so the fan and the light work independently of each other. All right, next job here is just to install a new ceiling fan here. This is where I took that ceiling fan that we installed in that room, took it down from here and installed it in that room. So now I'm gonna need you to just put up one here. All right, just finished up installing the ceiling fan here and we wired in the old remote to it. Uh, fan and the light works, so pretty exciting there. You know, I've had some questions. Uh, some people have asked me on this, on the comments here. They said, well, what's the point of this vlog thing? Why do you call it a vlog? Isn't it just a vlog? <laughs> and uh, pretty much the, the answer is it kind of is. Um, there's a few reasons why I call it the vlog. Uh, number one is it's just simply fun to say. <laughs> uh, Willog is just kind of a fun, weird word I made up, so uh, that's where we're going with. That's kind of my personality. Uh, the second one is it's kind of it's different than a vlog because a, a typical blog um, is is like a book log and then a vlog is a video log of like someone's life. This what I want to entail is kind of like a work log, so that's the W log, so the Willog, right? Uh, so it entails like me working. Uh, showing you guys how I work and then talking about like business principles and things like that all revol revolving around the handyman business so that is kind of in a nutshell what Willog means if you want a more in-depth answer to that watch the first episode of my Willog where I really explain like my mission and my idea for this Willog and I'm going to annotate that above here so you guys can take a look at that uh, but that's kind of the why I call it a Willog so uh, we are all done with this job uh, installed this new switch here um, and and uh, that dimmer over there, I, I just need to do a little bit of patching right above the outlet cover or the switch cover right there. Um, but we're gonna do that real quick. So this I installed this this fan with new 12-3 uh, wiring, and then installed a new ceiling fan in the other room uh, where there was already an existing ceiling fan there. So there was no wiring that needed to be done for that one. Uh, so total logistics for this job, I have five hours into this job. Um, it uh, total. Uh, total for this job was five eighty-five. Uh, materials were about eighty-five dollars. So total labor was about five hundred dollars. Um, so pretty good day. Uh, we got another job that I'm heading to right now, um, but for the sake of time, I'm not going to record that. And this is going to be the end of this vlog. So uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. I'd love to chat with you there. Uh, and I will see you guys on the next vlog. You guys all have a great one. Bye bye.